right, how's it going, Nora crew? Today I got a very cool house for you. This was a little home that was built in the 1940s, late 1940s. It really reminds me of a uh, old abandoned uh, country house or like an old abandoned farmhouse. It's got vaulted ceilings. It's very country style. So uh, I really like these kind of houses. I know that you guys do as well. So without further ado, let's get in here and see what we can find. All right, so we're starting at the front door here. Not a crazy front door. There's nothing really, uh, nothing really to her. I love that this was teal at one point. That's so cool. So I'd assume this house is getting knocked down. I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but the power's cut, water's cut. Got like the burlap wallpaper. Pretty interesting front entrance. I like the light. It's cool, I like the etched glass in it. All right, which way should we go, guys? Let's go to the right. Let's go into the kitchen first. Looks like this is like the most recently renovated part of the house. These are probably nice wood ceilings. Entry. Does this slide out? No. Feels like that slide out. <laughs> like a copper light. That's random. Probably not gonna bother going through all the cupboards, guys. I don't think that they left anything behind, really. It's a nice kitchen though. See that the raccoons have been in here. See all their handprints on the uh, dishwasher here. It's kind of crazy. Nice countertop. Nice little gas stove. It's five burner. I see five burner that often. Well, look at their setup here, it's all built in, that's nice. Cool. Because that's how we get to the basement. Oh wow, look at this room. This is what I mean by it's like, it feels more like a uh, like a country farmhouse almost, than it does anything else. It feels very grand. I think the beautiful wood ceilings, the vaulted ceilings, the typical farmhouse trims. Love the sconces. The wallpaper is pretty cool too. Nice little built-in on the wall as well. I really feel like these wood beams, like they, in my mind, automatically makes it feel like it's a cottage. Like it's a cottage style. Pink wainscoting, pink border trim. That's kind of crazy. Beautiful bay window or big window. This was probably the dining room, I'd have to imagine. Beautiful. So this must be the living room then. It's a big living room. Oh, there's glass. Wow, look at that. That's a beautiful brick fireplace. Like, very, very nice. The whole living room is nice though, like look at this. Again, I don't know if this is vaulted or if this is coffered. I don't know if that's what you'd consider it. Could be wrong on both, you can feel free to correct me. This 
really gives like log mansion vibes though. The giant piece of uh, wood for the mantle. Just a single layer of brick for the, uh, the fireplace though, which is kind of surprising. That's where you would have kept. Well, that's weird. What would you have kept in there? Maybe candles? Yeah, it's a big living room. Like, look at the big windows at the back here. They had pretty good property, too. So, yeah, that's super nice. This is like a velvet curtain cover. Yeah, it is. That's very cool. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this living room. It's really nice. So what is this way? Okay, so this looks like this would have been like a, like a nanny's entrance or a uh, mother-in-law entrance. Come through the back. This is random, look at this. It's like a block. Is it a br It's a wrapped brick that says welcome. That is so random. That's violent. <laughs> We actually have some mold starting here too. But uh, yeah, we got the main hallway again. Oh, look at those, the crystal mom. That, that is a tight tolerance for that light. Look at that. How close that gets. <laughs> like that's insane. That, like a couple millimeters. Well, the archway is very cool. It's very nice. I wonder what they put in here. Okay, so. Wow, look at that. That's a big closet. All right, so we're gonna go the other way now. Beautiful rooms. Very, very nice rooms. Pink everything. We got pink wainscoting, pink like velvety wallpaper, pink radiator. Oh, look at this door too. Probably one of the original doors from the house. It's very, very nice. Wow. I mean, this room is very nice. And then it just transitions into this room. This like burlap style wallpaper, white wainscoting on the uh, trim. Again, we got these beautiful wood beams. Even if they're just for decoration, I mean, they add so much to the house in my mind. Oh, look at how fancy the, uh, like the curtain rod is. It's like extremely detailed. That gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'd have to assume that these are the original radiators from the uh, house when it was built in the 40s. I haven't seen any real vents or anything on the ground. This is, wow, look at the wallpaper in here. Oh my gosh, looks like they fixed some. Uh, water damage on the ceiling at one point. It's like striped the room. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh, they even striped the, uh, the radiator. That's pretty funny. Can't get over the beams, they're beautiful. And the amount of like farmhouses I've seen from like the 1800s that have this exact same uh, trim is insane. Like, it's gotta be at least 50 houses that have that same trim with that circle in the square. This house is kind of a maze. Like it just kind of goes every which way. Nothing crazy in there. You can see the door was green at one point if you peel the paint back. These would have been teal doors. 
So it definitely got renovated, probably in like the 80s it got renovated. Which makes sense, I mean, 40 years later. This bathroom is insane. This is so cool. Look at this. We got teal tiles. What are these guys, like equestrian guys? We have like a plaid ceiling. That's, that's just wild. <laughs> Even the countertop, it's like brown and blue. Interesting. Yeah, I love the teal. I love teal in general, like just the color of it, super, super nice. I think it fits in really well with a lot of stuff. Maybe not with like a, a horse border trim and like, like a plaid, like, I know it's called something else, can't remember, but it's very British, that style. It's like a quilted look almost. Um, it's very nice, it's super nice. Of the wall sconces, I bet you that they had photos hanging like right there. They displayed them all here. That doorknob is simply not okay. It's just another closet. It's a very short door, it's about the same height as me. It's only about like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, okay, so let's go up the mother-in-law staircase here. Well, this is interesting, it splits off into two ways. It's kind of cool. It's actually really weird. Looks like they're doing some heavy renovations here. They had scraped off all of this, but just some regular drywall. It's like they were gonna fix it up, but it's been like five years since it's been lived in. This really reminds me of my uh, grandparents' cottage when they used to have it in uh, Port Perry. It has the same smell. Kind of these same doors. Oh yeah, look at the wallpaper. It's very cool. Just the attic. There's like a bunch of nails sticking out here, so I'm gonna simply not be walking in there. Okay. Let's hop and skip to the other side. Oh wow, we got another like really ornate, like decorated <laughs> bathroom. Okay, and we got the beautiful teal tiling. Got another choice wallpaper right there. <laughs> Pretty decent crown molding on the uh, ceiling up there. It's interesting though, they got pot lights in here, so they obviously added that in at some point. I like that the sink has spindles. <laughs> That's cool in that the trim matches like the border trim. This shelf's kind of cool. It's pretty ornate. I think it's had some rough time. Because they had a sconce here at one point. There's the box that would have powered them. And the box for that side. Even the way they cut the counter though, guys, like it's, it's pretty. <laughs> like I don't know if that makes sense, but it is. I always like these, the built-in uh, toilet paper holder. Look at the detail in this. 
Very cool. Again, we got the blue little radiator. This almost looks like it could have been a window. I don't know why they wouldn't. I've had like a window in the corner of the house here. Oh, there's a dead bird. Oh, that's so sad. Rest easy, little guy, rest easy. Interesting. That's yeah, a nice bathroom, very nice. This would have been one of the bedrooms. We do have some decay going on. What's weird is there's candles in like almost every room. I've noticed this walking around. Like obviously we got some paint peeling, but like it, the house itself isn't in that bad a shape. Like it, it could use a renovation, but you know, it could be worse. Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, the quick and the dead. It's a good sized closet, you even got a light. Cool. Like that they painted them green in here. That's kind of interesting. It's a very nice house. I'd live here. It's unique. It's got its own character. It's another movie poster here. No. It's got character. It's nice. I like it. I guess this would be the master, maybe. If you can even consider these to be big enough. Got red and gold trim. Look at that. Obviously you've got some peeling going on. I mean it's held up pretty well if it's from like the 40s or even from the 80s. It's you know it's a long time to hold up. It's just crazy to me that they actually wallpapered the radiators like this. Very strange. See again, we got a candle. Not a huge fan of that. It was just like ramen noodle on the... <laughs> okay, sure. Not a bad little bat. Um, not a bad little bedroom though. Not bad at all. All right. Still gotta go to the basement. I actually don't know if there's another way up here. This may be the only entrance upstairs. This may just be a normal entrance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to their favorite part of the house, the basement. Oh, she's rough down here. Let's go, I guess, this way first. Oh, yeah, she's got some black. Oh, not just some, she got quite a bit of black mold starting. Wood paneling, peeling off the walls. It's not surprising if there's a, there is moisture all in the house, obviously. That's pretty nice, nice little brick fireplace in the basement. Cool. Still even got uh, logs. I wonder if somebody homeless was uh, squatting here. A lot of candles. Oh, the light's cool. It's like a very 50s light to me. Probably had a desk right here. Very cool. It's very low ceiling though. It's probably only like six foot, maybe six and a half.
Interesting. Wonder if um they're renting this out. This is probably why it's moldy. Is this the well? Potentially. Yeah, they may have rented this out. Pretty large kitchen. The basement here. Could have been a prep kitchen, it could have been Italian. As far as in 2024, 2022, so they're not that old, but those last a while. The pipes, look at how rusty they are. Hmm. They had lots of storage today. Eh? See that they flexed under the uh, the moisture, this is, yeah, this is not a good basement to be in. The ceiling's caked in mold too. Pantry, nothing crazy. I even got a bathroom down here. Yeah, they had humidifiers in here, so I bet you it flooded. It stinks in here. Absolutely vile. I'm not opening that toilet, it's definitely bad in there. What is this? Pancake and waffle mix. Gross. I'm not even gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna open the closet here. Honestly, guys, might be homeless people because they got their shopping carts in here. Yeah, I bet you. This is their clothing. That wouldn't even surprise me, honestly. Yeah, I bet you that's what's happening because like this is the basement garage. It's a garage door right there. I bet you it's homeless people. That's, that's fair. All right, Nowhere Crew, thank you so much for tuning into this Explore. I really enjoyed this one. There's a lot of cool features in this house. I love the teal tiles. I love the downstairs. I love like the, the wainscoting and the blues and like the pinks that they used. The fireplace was beautiful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this place. Um, would you live here? Would you fix it up? And be sure to hit that subscribe button. And with that, guys, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.